Hello, and welcome to YMCA's Muscle of the Month. Today we're going to switch things up and make it an exercise of the month. My name is Dennis Kaufman. I work at the Calgary YMCA Crowfoot. We're going to show you how to build yourself up to a chin-up. Some muscles involved in a chin-up are latissimus dorsi, teres major, a little bit of rhomboids, and a muscle people tend not to use a lot or think about is the biceps. So for the first progression of a chin-up, you got to bring yourself outside. The first exercise to build up to a chin-up will be back rows. Now this may not look exactly like a chin-up, but we're going to be using the same muscles, the latissimus dorsi and those biceps. So all you're going to do is step back so you get a little resistance and your arms are totally outstretched. After that, you're going to pull it in. Try to keep your elbows beside your sides. Not out here, but up here. Back and forth. If you don't find that hard enough, you're going to turn around, look in the grass, and <gasps> find another one. And you're just going to use two at a time. Make sure you have a nice grip on those handles. Get that resistance, straight arms, and back. So for your second progression, we're still going to be using the resistance band, only this time. It's going to be up on a pole. Now I pre-wrapped it because it took me uh, an abundant amount of effort to get it there, but basically you'll get the gist of it. Wrap it around a few times so that's just barely out of your reach. And once you go on your tippy toes, it is in reach. Once there, you're going to get your hands in proper position like a real pull up and actually do it. If you find it a little difficult, you always have the option to add the second resistance band. And there you go, your second progression. So the third step to progressing towards a chin-up, we have the biceps pull-up. Of course, the biceps being used in chin-ups or pull-ups, we're going to use this to strengthen those biceps to work up to our chin-up. So what you're going to get to do is grab a stick. I know we live in Canada, everyone should have a hockey stick if you're a goalie, try getting a player stick. Um, also curling, that works too, those, those are thinner and a lot weaker. So what we're going to do is place ourselves underneath the bar. Try to make sure that your chest is lined up with the bar straight ahead of you. Once you have that, reach for the bar and grab. One thing I want to show you is, make sure your hands are pronated, not supinated. Up there like that, it's going to target the bicep better, and once there, you're going to pull yourself up. If you find it a bit too difficult, you can make it easier on yourself by placing the feet closer and closer to the buttocks. Once it's like that, it'll be a lot easier. This being the final progression towards the chin-up, we're going to grab a little friend here. He also works at the YMCA, see that in the camera? Very good. Okay, what we're going to get to do is actually get into the position of a chin-up. I'm going to jump up, grab this, and pull up. But he's going to be behind me, grabbing my ankles, which my leg is bent at a 90 degrees. He is going to assist me up so my muscles can adapt. Ready? Alright. Watch closely as he grabs those ankles. Now he's going to lift while I do it. And on three. One, two, three. And there you have it. Last progression. Of course, after you exercise, it's always important to stretch. Stretching keeps the muscles limber, not too tight, and avoids injury. So what we're going to do is show you a few stretches that are going to target that latissimus dorsi and a bit of the rhomboids that are going to get a bit of an exercise out of this. So for the latissimus dorsi, all you're going to get to do Put your feet about shoulder width and a half apart. And you're just going to lean to one side. As you do this, you may feel it's actually in your abdominal area, but once there, we're going to get you to drape your arm over, and that's where you're going to start feeling it in the lat dorsi. Make sure to hold this for a few seconds, and by a few, I don't mean one Mississippi to six, about a good 10 full seconds. Again, so when you're done, just go to the other side, reach that apex till as far as you can go sideways, then drape the arm over arms back and forth little mini hugs so you're ready to catch yourself and crawl your fingers back try to get your hands as close together behind you as you can once in that position just bend forward it's okay if you bend your knees a bit on this one we're not targeting hamstrings we're targeting the rhomboids and there you have it the progressions to the chin-up and the final chin-up if you do these regularly and efficiently and timely you'll be doing chin-ups no throw Thank <laughs> you.